Hi, my name is Gonzalo Antunes and I'm a Fast Track Solution Architect. In this session, I will cover the implementation workshops, which you might have heard already in the previous session, and also as a complementary information following up with the two mandatory uh, workshops and reviews that you have heard already within the Success by Design framework. The implementation workshops typically derive from the Solution Blueprint Review discussions and will basically be considered a little bit detailed discussion into what was disclosed or discussed during the Solution Blueprint Review or during the design and build phases while you're implementing the solution itself. This will provide you a timely guidance across functional, technical, and implementation aspects of the solution. It may cover the solution modeling or the integration areas, as well as functional and technical areas, and also migration and, and different implementation best practices. As you can see, this is the list of all the implementation workshops that are available within the Fast Track program and where they actually sit within the framework itself in the implement phase. There is also some supporting materials that will allow you and, and to run these workshops and, and be able to provide all the information that you need such as the recommendation knowledge base and also the technical talks. Implementation workshops will be different across the different apps. So the typical differences is that naturally for finance and operations, as an example, um, there's no such thing yet as a user experience workshop. But for CE, uh, there is. Um, beyond that content, um, the, the, um, the workshops in general may just differ in different cases, but the main objective is actually the same, which is to go a little bit deeper into the details of that part of the solution. These workshops are also mandatory, but they will differ on the implementation. In some cases, uh, you may not need to run uh, as a, one of the workshops because actually that is not really covered as part of your solution. But based on the solution blueprint review, you may determine already that certain workshop topics have already been covered sufficiently or that are actually irrelevant to the implementation. Well, one, one question may occur, which is, does this really, is this really an overlap with the Solution Blueprint Review? Well, Solution Blueprint Review will review the scope, the general uh, the areas or, or the general details about the solution design. And the implementation workshops will be a little bit more detailed, uh, looking into each of the areas once the, once the additional design is actually covered and the work is being planned or, or has actually been completed to make sure that no stone is left unturned. These will um, be likely be occurring um, as you move forward with the implementation. The solution architect that is working and reviewing the implementation will work with the project management to find the best time and opportunity to run each of those workshops. This is what the landscape looks like if we have to position the different workshops in the different phases of the implementation or within the implementation phase in the different uh, sub-phases, let's call it that way. If you look at it, the last one where you're actually addressing stabilization, that would actually be where you're going to 
run the cutover strategy workshop. Or if you go one step before that one, on number four, solution blueprints, which is just about, just nearly and very close to the time where you're going to go to production, you really have to address that solution performance workshop, make sure that all the bits are really covered. In order to prepare for the implementation workshops ahead of time, you must have completed the workshop templates and shared the relevant project artifacts. The duration of the workshops will actually depend on the workshop itself, on the type of workshop and the complexity of the solution and can be executed as a series of remote sessions. They don't all have to fit into a one long session. If for some reason, when preparing for this workshop, uh, there are some details, some artifacts that are actually not really clear or ready uh, to make the relevant observations and discussions, it's actually better to postpone a little bit the workshop and have everything ready uh, for the time that you're really running the workshop. In these following slides, we're going to cover a little bit of the detail of the areas uh, that will be addressed during the different implementation workshops. I'll start first on the commonality across these workshops, which is typically, it is, um, the, in this area here, you will see the details of who's running the workshop or between um, who the workshop will occur. So in this case, partner and customer, you will have some or actually will be more addressed between Microsoft and the partner. Uh, but typically this is the format and this is the agenda for the different areas of the different workshops. Starting with the data migration uh, strategy workshop, the main objective is really to cover the best practices to avoid data migration performance issues. Make sure uh, the business uh, goals are understood and the, the migration plans are really realistic uh, and they actually can fit into the expected window of migration. Naturally, topics such as historical data, um, migration of configuration data, and, and all that will be covered as well. Also, considering uh, the general testing of data and data validation topics, those should be addressed as well in terms of planning for the data migration. In the security model design workshop, uh, yeah, the goal is really to understand the unique needs of the organization in terms of security review the access control granularity, the, the way that will be, or the administrative tasks and easiness that will have to be in place uh, to manage that security model, and what will be the impact on scalability of the solution. So as it lands in the system, and as the system grows, or the let's say after going live, the system will grow in data volume and potentially in some more users, is that security model a good one for scaling purposes? So that's just one of the topics that will be uh, addressed during this security model design workshop. Next, solution performance. In general, um, form loading, different views, searches, even the test strategy and integrations, making sure that all of these little angles are really covered uh, on this detailed workshop. So between Microsoft and partner, uh, topics will be addressed, such as, again, uh, even the user location. Uh, what will be, where will be the user sitting and where is the system actually hosted, in which region? Are you going to have multiple users in different areas of the globe 
connecting to this one productive system which as an example is sitting in the US or sitting in Europe as an example also as a typical uh, I would say very commonly run workshop a system will likely have integrations so with that naturally integration design workshop is uh, very uh, commonly addressed and run by the uh, by the program and this will be key uh, to the success of the implementation making sure the integration strategy is on point uh, and all these little different areas of the integration are really covered no risk is really present or if there is a risk that there is there will be a plan to mitigate that risk or if there is an issue that really the issue will be resolved um, as a result of this workshop discussion data model design implementation workshop this is more into the um, data relationship the different entities extension of the data model the out-of-the-box data model the different uh, areas of the data model such as auditing and how does that impact as well into the user experience going um, completely custom or extending the um, out-of-the-box data model all these discussions should and will occur during the data model design workshop the test strategy workshop is to ensure the customer has planned for the different various testing activities throughout the project life cycle and to ensure the quality of their solution typically um, there will be different moments of when the testing should occur and different areas too not only a matter of end user testing or user uh, acceptance testing so when the solution is actually built and the end users are working on it but also the different areas uh, like the system integration testing it's you know, not less important right or even the data migration validation testing or performance testing or security testing so all these definitely are different kinds of tests that should be accounted for and that the customer and together with the partner must be discussing and, and being planned to make sure that all these little details are really discussed and the system and the solution are tested enough in a way that they will be contributing for the success of the go live the user experience design workshop this one currently uh, only applies to customer engagement uh, not for finance and operations but the idea or the objective is really to identify key goals and design elements uh, to leverage and deliver the optimal user experience so thinking of uh, the easiness of use uh, the different aspects of the uh, navigation and um, clicking through the different screens and consistency of the experience these are the types of, of topics that we uh, will be addressed during this user experience design workshop The application lifecycle management strategy workshop uh, is to understand how the partner plans to go about the, the process of building, testing, validating, and deploying the solutions. So it's all about the application lifecycle management and the strategy to build, um, de develop, build, and deploy um, the different solutions or updates to that solution or extensions to the original solution and all the release details testing plans automations for deploying automations for testing uh, all of that will be discussed and covered during this workshop or should be covered and should be addressed during this workshop making sure 
that all the details are really there and everything is really ready to be moving forward towards the success of the implementation. The GAP Solution Design Workshop is really to review the plans for high impact, high risk extensions to provide guidance on maximizing the use of standards uh, instead of um, going fully customized or fully extens extended with some other solutions besides the out of the box features, the standard features which are aligned with the roadmap. So making sure that uh, if the customer is picking some sort of ISV solution to cover um, some areas of the, of the implementation or the, the solution they want to tackle, that why are they picking that one or is that solution really contributing to the overall success of the implementation when compared with what the standard features offer already? What is the gap between the standard features and the additional features that this uh, ISV or this custom solution components are bringing and how far long you should go to implement that custom or extended part of the solution instead of staying standard and aligned with the product roadmap and, and uh, basically a follow up with the roadmap and perhaps one of those components of that extended solution that is being considered is actually coming just around the corner in the next product update, uh, in the next wave update. This is the main objective of this GAP solution design workshop and is not less important than any of the others we discussed before. The Cutover Strategy Workshop, this is basically the Prepare to Go Live Workshop. Um, before the Go Live Readiness Workshop that we, we will be running and it is mandatory as you have heard, but the Cutover Strategy is really about planning who's going to do what, what is the calendar, how, do we, how and when do we stop uh, developing code or what is the data cutover uh, plans and system validation plans. Uh, so all of those details, as you can see in this area here on this table, all these considerations and, and discussion points should be or will be addressed during this um, cutover strategy workshop, really to ensure the cutover strategy provides a good approach and plan to deliver a well-defined, well-tested, reliable and safe transition from the current systems to the new productive systems. Lastly, the business intelligence and analytics design. This one is basically to cover the uh, reporting, the business intelligence, the analytics. So ensure the customer's design uh, for providing business intelligence and analytic capabilities in their solution and that it makes best use of the existing technologies and patterns and it is aligned with the product roadmap. Uh, topics such as the uh, business intelligence process uh, or even the team that will be running that part of the solution the different data sources, uh, the data storage being consumed or, or being considered, and also different portals and dashboards and tiles, and even data volumes that will be accounted for this um, uh, solution uh, in that being is being designed and being implemented. So all in all, and as you could see in the different slides here, and there's a little bit of detail into each one of those, and not only the agenda in the right hand of the screen, but at the top, like mentioned before, uh, who will be the participants and the typical format and duration, and also the objective, the attendees, so the expected or the recommended attendees for this workshop, what are the requirements, so the preparation items for that workshop to be run successfully, 
or with the expected outcome, which will be also mentioned here uh, for each one of the workshops that was discussed.